reversing his field in behind the back. And wrap around on the other side. They score. Backhander across the goal mouth by Malden at the back door side. There was, uh, who was that? Over on the back door side. Nobody sees him coming in. And that was Brophy as, as done. Way on top, turns, takes a shot at a glove stop for Coleman, and he holds on for the face off. Ah, getting hold of Van der Gulik, drop back in front of the shot, let's grab! Shield the shot from the slot, taken by Stoa, and so chased by McNabb, pass on in front, blocked in front by Lesio, slides across the goal mouth, and he robs the monsters of a goal right there on a great... And the puck comes off of the near wing. Spun behind the low. Out in front of backhander for the short side. And it's in the net. Oh, man. It's pulled from behind the net. Right out in front of backhander. Upper corner short side over the shoulder. of Never moved on it. And now it's 2 to nothing for Lake. God, I heard a clink. But we'll watch on the in-house replay. Uh, however, it did. It just got in uh, over the shoulder and in the top shelf. And Lake Erie is taking a 2 0 lead. Then throws it through on the left wing boards for Veroni. Back out in front. Here's the shot. They score! One shot from the right face off. Circle by TJ Brown to the crossbar. Power play goal. The Amics are on the board. That opened the alley right to Brennan. And he fed the puck all the way through. Brennan one times it in the. Oh, gets poked out the end of his. Oh, never got a shot away. In behind, out in front of the shot. They score! Frank and Friedman in front for the trailer. Frank McNabb inside the left post. Dashing down makes no mistake to go back to the blocker side of Coleman. And it's now tied 2 2. Is kicked down by Lesio on the rebound. He covers up and holds on for the face off. And their legacy grabbing on is Walker. Is in close. Legacy over the top with the right hand. And trying to get his right arm loose is Walker. Here's Legacy still reaching in. Now an uppercut. Trying to get through, but they're in awful tight. Legacy trying to come over the top. Now a, uh, come over the top as Walker got in the shot. Legacy spins around, and they are both again uh, circling around. A little dance with the look. Linesman watching on. And Legacy, now they tie up, and there's nothing left in the tank for either one. And... Uh, no harm. Nothing side. Shot to the net. That went out the back door side. They shoot. They score! Puck knocked down side of the net. Moving it off the right wing boards. I believe it might be uh, Brennan and the puck hammer. A power play goal. He got the other power play goal tonight. And he gets the next one here as well. And it's on the far corner. Round behind the net. Pass out in front. They shoot. They score! A pass from behind the net. Dropped out in front by Malone. Training the play with Stoa. A little Not too far from him, but didn't nobody picked him up. Moving in goal. Takes a shot. Head save. And the loose puck is carried aside off of the course. They can figure he can score. Right away now. You're in the shootout at three through uh, overtime. Brought in Hunter. Shoots. Scores. He tried the five hole and put it through. Yeah. So Hunter scores, and now Lake Erie leading one to nothing in the shootout. T.J. Brennan, the next shooter for the Amherst. And he has Moroni in the shootouts this year. Let's see, has he taken a shot? I don't think he's taken a shot. No, I don't see him on the list as having shot so far in the shootout. All right, so his first uh, attempt. Picks it up, works wide to the left side over the blue line, weaving his way through in front, moving in, fakes, backhander, scores! Little fake shot, he makes a, makes the goalie Coleman make the move, and then once he freezes him, he dips his shoulder and goes to his right, and slides it in on, through the five hole. Coleman tries to close him quickly, but can't, not soon enough. Mercier, the Mercier, the next shooter. For the Monsters, a left-handed shot. He'll carry it for it. Kicking the puck up at the red line over the blue line. Working directly up the slot. Moving in. Shoots. It's a four-handed shot just in the post. And now the Monsters have taken the lead. And the Amherst have to score here. It'll be Folino out for the shot. Yep. Folino out here is going to try and tie it up here. Marcus Folino in the shootout. As I have it, this uh, will be his uh, second. He's 0 for 2 so far in the shootouts this season. And forward, left-handed shot up the slot. Now he slows up, working in on goal. Shoot, scores! Picks the lower right corner, so it's even up again. Uh, he really threw a curve at Coleman because he, he came with speed, and then as soon as he got the blue line, he put the brakes on, and that made Coleman, uh, who was already backing in, tired. This is 15th shooter for each team. Gengalski over the line, moving in, fakes, back header, SCORES! Gengalski, a last bar, 15th 
shooter, and the Emmerichs win the shootout, two to one, win the game, three to two. Igor Gagalski, the hero of the night, as the Emmerichs pull it out in the shootout. Well, just a way, nice way he came in, moved to his left, moved to his right, came back to his right, and stuck in a backhand right up under the crossbar, and that's the way to well contract and uh, help put your team over. A great weekend for them uh, with these two uh, two big games. Will the Amherst come out?